MGF aluminium trench boxes are simple to assemble, lightweight, robust, two-sided mechanical excavation support systems. Designed to be installed by an excavator utilising the excavate and lower in place technique. They are suitable for installing shallow utility pipes where ground movement is not critical and where the use of a small excavator restricts the maximum weight of the system specified. Assembly of a box commences by lowering the first panel onto timber skids. MGF aluminium trench boxes are connected together using telescopic U-type struts. Adjust the U-type telescopic struts to the required length by sleeving the inner within the outer and securing them using a pin and R clip. This can be done by hand. Once assembled, each strut should be positioned within the strut pockets on the base panel. Note that if a top unit is to be used, then the connecting pieces should be inserted into the top of each strut prior to securing in place using pins and R-clips. The pins are inserted from the outside. Once the struts are pinned in place, the second base panel should be carefully lowered over the strut ends using a four-leg chain. Carefully align the panel pockets with the strut ends. The base to top connecting pieces should now be inserted and secured in place, followed by the lower pocket pins. The box can now be moved into a vertical position, ready for installation. The top box should be assembled now. The top panels are connected together using the same struts as for the base panel. However, they are orientated differently. The struts are assembled to length in the same way as before. The struts are pinned in place on the top panel using the centre pinhole on the strut vertical section, while the horizontal part of the strut should lie just above the panel's connecting pockets. Now the top panel can be lowered over the struts as before and pinned in place. The assembled top box can now be positioned so it is standing upright. MGF aluminium trench boxes should be installed using an excavate and lower in place technique and not pushed and driven down by an excavator. The excavation should be pre-dug to final depths subject to ground conditions. Ideally the trench width should be over dug by up to 100mm to ease installation. The maximum depth for aluminium trench boxes is 2.4 metres. The ends of the excavation should be safely battered back or an end safe panel should be used. Site barriers or hoarding can be used to separate off the battered end to create safe access areas. At no time should an operative stand on an unsupported edge. Once the excavation is a final formation level, then the aluminium trench box can be installed, making sure to minimise the time the unsupported excavation is open. The top box should now be carefully lowered over the assembled base box. The struts of the top box should sleeve over the connecting pieces on the base box. The top box can now be secured to the base box by pinning through the strut and connector pieces. Once the box is fully secured, it is ready for lowering into the excavation. Once the trench box is in the ground, any gaps between the ground and the panels should be backfilled. Check the unit is flat, level and securely in position. Prior to entry, edge safe and ladder safe should be installed. It is crucial that during installation of safety equipment, the operative does not put themselves in a position of danger by leaning over the excavation. The edge safe brackets simply hook over the box panel and are secured in place using the integrated spanner. 
the ladder safe should be lifted using a two leg chain attached to the bow shackles within the flooring. The ladder safe unit can now be lifted and gently lowered into the required position. Once in position, clamp securely to the panel. A ladder can now be secured to the ladder safe unit. Subject to a final inspection, the excavation is now safe to enter.